everyone, my name is Fanny, welcome to my channel. Today I have a cute DIYs for you, super quick and easy. Also today I'm participating in a fun collab called Inspire Me, hosted by DIY with Amber and other such a talented ladies here. We're also going to have a playlist so make sure you go and check it out the playlist after you're watching my video and get a lot of inspiration. So let's get started. So before we started, I had to mention it that this project that I'm going to make is inspired by Jenny over Lovely Moments Creating channel. She does amazing projects and I'm going to be recreating this from her. So let's get started. So for the first DIY, you will need two wire baskets from Dollar Tree, some hooks. I got those from Walmart and those wooden signs. Those are really heavy. So yeah, I'm going to use those all right the original idea to use a uh, real wood um i did have a piece of wood but um i ended up using those because i'm going to be making only with two baskets the original idea was with three baskets but um i went uh and checked my kitchen to see the space that i have and for what i need so i thought two little baskets was enough <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I removed the label and then I'm going to be attaching both pieces using wood glue and hard glue, as you can see. So next, i also going to be using some popsicle sticks and place it right on the back just to add more reinforcement. So now the base of board is complete. Now I'm going to be using the chalk paint and the color charcoal and give it really good coat. To be exact, I did two coats on it. Right after that, I let it dry. I did paint on the back part just to have better finish look. Now I'm going to be using those frame hangers. Okay. That's how I call it. <laughs> Alright, use my little hammer and place it on it. Next, I'm going to just flip it over and now I'm going to be placing baskets using the small screws. But uh, to make it easy, I'm also going to be using the drill to make like a little holes first and then place the screws. Just to make it easy that way. So here I'm just showing that I'm just marking down where I'm going to make the holes and as I mentioned it and go ahead and do it. Now this is a silly thing that I didn't hear. I should have just <laughs> made the holes without holding the basket but uh, sometimes that's the way we cry. <laughs> so the same thing I'm going to be doing in here with the screws. So my first basket I went ahead placed the basket and place the screws on it and then I realized I'm being silly again I should have just placed the, the screw first and then just add the hand the basket as I did on the next one <laughs> that's how we do that's how we do <laughs> all right and now I'm just going to be removing the basket for a little bit and because I'm going to be placed um, drilling some holes right on the bottle to be able to place the hooks on it. And that is it for this one. Now I'm just going to place back the little basket and there you have it. Absolutely beautiful. Here is my inspiration for this project and here is my project. I just love it. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to place this one on my kitchen. So here I just did a cute display so you guys can see how this turned out. But I always want to know what do you guys think. I also will be leaving the link of her video on my description box. So make sure you go and check that out.
all right for our next diy i'm going to be recreating this beautiful frame from amber over diy with amber she did this beautiful frame and i had to recreate it so let's do it so for this diy i'm going to use a frame from dollar tree some chalk paint and also a decal that i made with my cricut all right on her project she did use paint steers to make the frame but I, I didn't have that so i'm going to be using what i have so once i had removed the inside of the frame i went ahead and give it a really good coat with the chalk paint and then i seal it with the match pot then i use my heat gun for a quicker process now I'm just going to be placing my decal on it. So to make it easy, I'm just going to be cutting the phrases separately so like that I have better control so where I'm going to be placing them. Then I just went ahead and placed it on the board, just like so. And we're basically done with this one. This one was quick and easy. Uh, now I'm just going to place it back on the frame. And there you have it. I think this came out absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to have it displayed on my kitchen. So let me know what you guys think. All right, for the next project, I'm going to be recreating a small version of this beautiful piece from uh, Katy over Katy Crafty. So let's do it. So here are the materials. I'm going to be making really a small version of her project. So I have some example tiles in here <laughs> and some leftover board and also this other board from Dollar Tree as well. Alright, so first I'm going to be removing the string on it and also send, uh, send it out a little bit of the glittery on it. So like that I will have better finish with the paint on it. Alright, so I went ahead and did that. Once I had some of that glitter removed, now I'm just going to finish removing the label on the back. I was trying just to do it by myself, but uh, I had to use my little helper the heat gun all right now here i'm showing those holes from the hanger part we're going to be using those so i'm going to leave that right on the bottle because we're going to be using that as a direction where we're going to be placing the other pieces so now i'm just going to be attaching those three pieces together using wood glue and hot glue like that and we have a thicker board as i mentioned before this project is really a small version that what she did with different materials she used real wood and used nails and wood glue and hot glue at the same time i'm using this hot glue because it's really a small version and i'm going to put nothing crazy heavy in there <laughs> right so now i have a thicker board so i let it dry and now i'm going to be place it on the larger board so but before that i'm going to be using some uh, small little uh, screws and i'm going to place it on those holes and here i'm just showing that those uh, screws they are flat on the bottle so they won't poke out and damage the wall or something like that and, and you will see that in a little bit so i place it on it basically just to have some reforce or base um to it to be able to add the other board right on the bottom all right so here just showing that um they are not pointy <laughs> all 
all right now i'm just going to be using the wood glue and the hot glue to place that board right on the bottle using the screws as a base or reforce yes like so Alright, next is add some paint and I'm going to be using the same charcoal color. Alright, here I'm showing that my base is now uh, ready to get a stand up. As you can see, it leans in because we don't have any base right on the front part. So I'm going to use the some of those little blocks, Jenga blocks, and place it right on the front part like that. We're going to create like a little uh, frame and also a base to make the frame stand up by itself yes like so now right on the back i was showing that i placed the some of the jenga blocks inside so like that won't poke out and has some detail on it i just thought that was cool <laughs> so i leave it like that but you can place it totally different all right like i always say this is only an idea you can recreate your own right so now with those sample tiles i'm going to be creating shelves you can also use uh, the wooden planks from dollar tree but i thought i have those and i like the colors so that's why i use those and i didn't have to paint those <laughs> i really like the color so i place it on it using wood glue only for the video's purpose but you can but you can also use another strong glue like e6000 then I'm going to be using two more Jenga blocks right on the bottom to reinforce the shelf and also a match with the frame that we did right on the bottom. So I attach those together and place it on it. Now at this point I think it looks beautiful as it is but I thought I want to add more Jenga blocks. <laughs> so I went ahead and add more right on the top. And that is it for this one. I think it came out so cute. I just love it. And I'm going to be adding little things that I have around the kitchen. <laughs> and yeah, but in here I just make a little display so you can see uh, how it looks. And I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And like I mentioned it before, every link of the inspiration video is going to be on my description box. So you can go and check it out. For my next DIY, I'm going to be recreating this beautiful tray uh, that my friend Aileen of the heart made. I think it's beautiful and I'm going to give it a try. Alright, for this project you will need two of those wooden little trays from Dollar Tree and some stain, popsicle sticks and also she used a stencil but I'm going to be using some decal that I have um, already made with my quicker all right and i also going to be using the same chalk paint in the color chalk so first i'm going to remove one of the handle of each little tray so here i'm just using my knife just to trace some of the glue on it and then just add some pressure and voila Alright, so um, here I'm just showing that I did that with both and I also cut some of the edges uh, just to smooth it out or kind of line it out the little trace. So then I just smooth it out with my same block. So now it's time to attach those together using with glue and also hot glue. I also added a Jamba Popsicle stick on the bottom part just to reinforce the little trace. So now we have a long tray. It looks cute already. Alright, but uh, as you can see, uh, that little seam shows so much. And the little tree is still kind of nice story on the edges so i'm going to be using some spackle and try to cover the seam and also reinforce the edges or the size as you can see so here i'm just using my finger yeah 
<laughs> and a little piece of popsicle sticks. So I let it dry and now I'm just going to send it out. I must say, I don't know why, uh, probably my sparkle wasn't that good, probably was expired already. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wasn't sticking so much on my little trays and some of that come off and here I don't know what happens but uh, yeah it was moving so much right then I just going to give a really good coat with the chalk paint inside and now for the outside part I'm going to use the uh, stain just like that now as you can see you can uh, still notice a lot the the cuts on the edges but that's okay uh, I don't mind because I'm not going to use it as a tray I'm going to use it more as a sign on the wall so it looks really nice but I decided to add some bamboo skewers on the inside part so like that it will reinforce the tray and also will add a little touch on it so I really like it so now I'm just going to be placing the um, decal on it and voila I really love it and uh, this one was a simple decal that I create um, wasn't a big deal she did uh, use a stencil it was really cute with a little cow on it but uh, I went simple and I love it I think it turned out so cute so that is it for this one what do you guys think? And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to go and check it out the playlist and get a lot of inspiration from the other talented ladies. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, also on TikTok. I would love to interact with you over there as well. So yeah, that is it for today. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.